All right, good evening. Join with me here tonight as Chief Administrative Officer Faith Leach, Deputy Commissioner Kevin Jones, Fire Department Chief Jay Wallace, Deputy Mayor Anthony Barksdale, and Assistant uh, Deputy Mayor Sam Johnson. This evening, just after 8 p.m., officers received multiple calls for a shooting to the 1300 block of Spring Street. Once on scene, officers located multiple male victims and one female victim suffering from gunshot wounds. At this time, we have eight confirmed victims. One individual was pronounced deceased, 36-year-old male. Preliminarily, the victims range in age from 22 to 45. The victims range in condition from critical to stable. Our homicide detectives are on the scene, um, scouring the scene for witnesses and possible ballistic evidence. ATF is also here helping us with the investigation. As you can see, it's a very expansive crime scene and detectives are out speaking with witnesses and residents working to identify any video that we could find. What we do know is that officers located multiple victims as well as multiple firearms on the scene. The victims were transported to the hospital by the fire department. Uh, we're still very early in this investigation and at this point I'll turn it over to Chief Administrative Officer Faith Leach. Good evening, everyone. Um, I am Faith Leach. I serve as the city's chief administrative officer, and I'm here this evening on behalf of Mayor Scott. The mayor and the entire administration send our heartfelt condolences to the family of the 36-year-old victim uh, that lost his life today. Our prayers are also with those who are um, those who are also suffering from this incident. It is not lost on me the impact of an incident like this on our communities. In the days, weeks, and even the months ahead, we will be tasked with working with this community to heal from the trauma of this evening's event. That is why, under the direction of Mayor Scott, we will be launching our community neighborhood stabilization efforts right here in this community in the days, of in the days ahead. Now, I wanna take a moment to speak directly to members of the community. Please know that the Scott administration will be here. We will be here in the immediate aftermath of this incident, but we will also be here for the long term to address your challenges, your needs, and to also help the community heal. We also want anyone who knows anything about this event to step forward. You can call BPD's homicide line at 443-902-4824. We all have a responsibility to our neighbors. We have a responsibility to our families and to our communities. So if you know something about this incident, please step forward. Thank you. Now, at this time, we'll take questions. We're gonna start here and work our way around. So we're gonna go right here. So eight people shot, one dead. Any other updates on condition? Is anyone else in critical condition? Anyone you know is life, non-life threatening? Yeah, they range from critical to stable. Okay, but no numbers on that? How many no, people? we don't. There's th there are different hospitals. Don't, not yet. Commissioner, do you know what sparked this? Was there some event happening? Do you have any idea as to the motive or the mechanics of how this all unfolded? Well, there's a gathering uh, over on Spring Street, and at some point, um, it looks like multiple people opened fire, and we, we end up with eight people shot and one deceased. And we saw 50 evidence markers. I mean, do you know how many shots or any idea how many shots were fired? We don't know yet. It's still you, the evidence markers are still probably out there. Probably still collecting the ballistic evidence. Commissioner, I saw ATF near the scene. Is that in relation to the guns that may have been recovered here at the scene? They'll co they come to help us on any of the scenes where we have a lot of firearms recovering, a lot of ballistics evidence. They've been a great partner of ours, and they're always here to help. As is all the federal agencies whenever we reach out to them. But they came to the scene to help us out with the firearms. Um, it depends. The, the, the crime lab were professionals. They had it marked. Um, of course, we don't know what we, what we what could have gotten lost in the rain, but we were here very quickly. 
Um, we put the markers out very quickly. We got the, the victims, the fire department got the victims to the hospital, probably saved a few lives by getting in there so quickly. Um, but we've got a lot of evidence and we're looking for a lot of video. If anyone has video, please call our homicide unit or 1-866-7-LOCKUP to give us the information and allow us to look at your video that could help us solve this crime. Thank you guys. Can I just ask one more thing? I just really want to know, is there any reason to believe that anyone that might have been shot tonight might have just been a passerby, like not involved in whatever was transpiring before the shots were fired? We don't have any indication of that.